Holy Wiremod here. Welcome to the third tutorial in the GLUA Pro series where we're going to be taking a look at data types. Now, we're not going to be covering tables and functions just yet. We'll save that for a future tutorial. So, I also want to take note really quick that I have the developer console open for the server that we put installed in our first tutorial, as well as our init shared and seal init underscore that Lua from the game mode folder in our prior tutorials as well. So let's start with comments. So by adding comments, you simply do this and you say whatever passed here, and that's fine. If you want to add a multi-line comment, you just put brackets with these as well. So multi-line comment. Now, if I save, nothing gets printed into the console, and that's because we need to utilize the print command. So we can put a number here in the print command, or we can put a string here as well. So let's put a string. Now you see a line. It's very nice. Now, what about if we print, for example, a variable? Now, a variable by default is defined as nil. So, actually, if we save that, it'll be like that. So, even if I don't have that line, it's still going to return nil because that's the default value for a global variable. So, what if we want to change the data type, though? So, we want to introduce our second data type, which is Boolean. A Boolean value can be either true or it can be false. Now, you can get the type a variable by putting type here and it'll return boolean if i put type right here i'll put nil heck if i put a number right here it'll return number and if i put string it'll put string so that's the type command which is very useful so let's get into a little bit more about boolean value so a boolean value is used for conditional statements and if we have true, another way we can represent true in a conditional statement is by putting empty double quotes, which is unique to Lua, or you can put zero as well, and that'll also do the same thing. We'll get more into that when we do conditional statements, but I like to repeat myself so it sticks in your head better. So we have false likewise, and the only other way to represent false in conditional statement is with nil, and that's fine. So moving on to the next data type, which I showed you, which is number. Now, number can be an integer. It can be a floating value, which is simply a number after this decimal point. It can be some floating value with scientific notation. Or if you want to get all fancy with it, we can add some more numbers right there. And we can even change up the notation as such. And all these are valid formats. Now, normally, Lua, uh, without GLua, this is kind of unique to GLua. Um, Non-G Lua has a max number of 9223372036854775807. However, with Gary's mod or G Lua, we can actually make that number bigger and that is just fine. So really good stuff there. Now the precision for floats, let's say we have 1.12345678, then we'll have zero, and then we'll have one, two, three. So that's up to 13 behind the, uh, right there, behind the decimal point. And if we put a four right there, we can see that we lose precision at the four. So we have up to 13 for our float precision. Now let's get into strings. Now we can write, actually, you know what? Let's rename this to string. And we'll say that Lua is fun. Yeah, that's awesome. Now what if I want to have a multi-line string? Well, so we'll call it multi-line string, or we'll just call it multi-line. That's too, that's good too. So then we'll put double brackets, just like when we did a multi-line comment up above. So we'll say Lua is fun, and we'll print multi-line. Now, what's nice about strings is you can actually concatenate them, which means that you can actually add them together as such, and says Lua is fun, Lua is fun, and that's very nice. And then we have some fun little things that you can do there as well. So for example, with the print command, which is nice here, we can actually return the number or the number of characters in a string by typing this. And as you can see, Lua is fun has 11 characters with it. And also for print, you can put some other stuff too as well and have multiple arguments. So this is argument one, argument two, argument three, for those who are confused about argument. Okay, so now that we have that, Let's say we want another way to represent the multi-line comment. Well, we can do that, say multi-line two, and we'll say Lua, and it will have backslash n is backslash n fun. 
and now it will do multi-line and here's multi-line 2 notice they are exactly the same now what's nice about these backslashes is let's bring it back to string so we have lua is fun we can concatenate on backslash and we'll put t and this will actually tab it so now it's tabbed out lua is fun if we want to print unusual characters so for example normally if you put a backslash here there's going to be an error you see there if so if we want to print out a backslash you do backslash backslash if you want to print out a quotation mark put quotation mark when do a single quote put single quote and speaking of single quotes you can put your strings in single quotes as well and that works too now besides that that pretty much gets into everything about the basics of the data types we will be going into the libraries involving these data types as well but before we do that i'd like to also take mention that we're going to be doing that fun integer or init.lua thing a little bit later in the series where i tell you how to auto include all the files because i'd like you to understand tables and whatnot so if you're confused where that was we're going to be doing that a little later in the series as well but if you have any questions feel free to leave so in the comments section below hope you enjoyed the material as always feel free to like subscribe and share and that bell thing as well and i'll see you guys in the next tutorial thank you for watching don't forget to check out Hexane Networks for affordable and high-performance server hosting. That's Hexane Networks, whose link is in the description below.